Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here. I want to give you your anomaly mission for the weekend. It is the weekend of August 30th through September. Hold on, I think I know this. September 1st, I believe, right? Is that how that works? 31 days in August? Who knows? Can never remember. Anyway, welcome to the uh, episode here, folks. Uh, so this weekend mission, we're going to be checking it out here over at the Anomaly, see what's going on. Um, as you are aware, this is the last weekend of the Liquidators expedition if you haven't done it you better get it done soon there'll be a link at the end of this video to my how to do it in 90 minutes or less video so if you want to get it done in a quick fashion just to get through the storyline and get all the uh, uh what do you call it the milestones and all the rewards from it that you can get from your quicksilver vendor well you probably want to look at that video and check it out not to mention bookmark that video for a later date because when we do the redux at the end of the year for one more chance at it You'll have access to that. Anyway, so here we are, starting off on my uh, one of my main saves here. Uh, as you can see, I've already got my uh, Minotaur going here. Isn't he, isn't he cool looking? This is the new look to the Minotaur. Let's get a nice screenshot of it. He actually follows you in a really neat fashion. Let me put the sun up here real quick so we can see him. There he is. You can change colors on him and everything like that. They now come from with, with a flamethrower arm on the right arm, which is really, really cool looking pretty snazzy there let me let me show you how this thing works all right so we can get going here so we got the laser right got your got your don't even bother going into first person by the way this is what it looks like you really don't have a great field of vision so i recommend staying here and then your laser you can arm you can mine things and it actually takes things out that's actually pretty powerful now i think about it i will have to remember this how long wow check that out all right, let's switch to the different one, the cannon. The cannon you're familiar with because you used it during the episodes. Pretty good. Now, you got a minotaur bore, which takes out the ground, right? It's like a terrain manipulator, if you will. And then finally, <clears throat> not finally, one more thing. you got the stun cannon that launches, like, paralysis mortars, just like in your mini tool, right? And then finally, we have the flamethrower. Is this cool or what? How about we get a quick screenshot of what that looks like huh look at that is that pretty cool or what <clears throat> i have to admit that is pretty neat look at those flames dripping down onto the ground really really neat really neat all right enough of that back to your laser all right well i think we're done with this i'm gonna go ahead and leave them behind here <clears throat> and we're gonna take our ship up to the anomaly and of course my uh voice has got to take this moment to have some trouble right <laughs> Gotta love it. All right. Let's pull in the anomaly and see what the mission is for the weekend. There we go. Anytime now. There we go. Okay, we're in. So, looks like the speedrunning competition has come to an end. There may be some more speedrunning done over this weekend. Uh, keep your eyes open. Not by me. I am, I think I've dropped the mic on this one, folks. 49 minutes is the new record by me live on Wednesday night. Check out that video when you get a chance. Uh, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Everything couldn't have landed perfectly. More perfectly than that. <clears throat> so good luck to Delta and Jason if they decide to try to give it, get a shot at it. Uh, Delta's in second place at 57 minutes, and then Jason takes up the uh, third place position at 102 officially. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's check out our Nexus mission. We've got to rescue a stranded life form, it appears. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get that one done again. We're going to get 1,800 Quicksilver and salvage frigate modules, as well as 426,000 units. So, let's get this started, shall we? Now, the rescues can be a little bit interesting. i tell you what, let's switch multi-tools. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with, I think the Polygon Blaster is the one I'm using right now. Uh, let's see. This one has a nice setup to it, this multi-tool, with four supercharged slots right in the center over here. As you can see, I have every just about every weapon imaginable in this one. Uh, I got the pulse spitter over on one side, a couple other extra add-ons over here, and we got the bolt caster over here. Uh, so this, this is a very nice weapon to use. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump in and get going, because I think we might need it on this episode. Who knows? Well, let's get going. 
Now, as you leave the anomaly, as usual, it takes you through hyperspace into a different area. It does not use any of your warp cells to do this. And we should be exiting any minute. You'll get the flash from the rear tail lights there. There you go. <laughs> and off we go. I hope it's not that planet. That looks pretty awful. Okay, it'll tell us where it is. It looks like coordinates are marked. Okay, where where are we going here? Was it that planet? That would be awful. Oh, nope, it's over there. I'm guessing that is some sort of moon. Let's check it out. Yep, we have a moon out there. Haunted Emerald Moon. Activated Emerald at that, so we can have some storms here at times. So we'll have to keep our eyes open for that. Good place to get Emerald, folks, so if you want to, uh, you know, bookmark this system, go ahead and land at the space station that we have access to at any time you want. You can drop a base computer down if you wish to. Whoa, okay. Kind of yanked the ship over on its nose. Looks like we got a storm going on at the moment. Now, this is an approximate location. We're looking for the stranded life form, so we're looking for a ship on the ground. You probably want to be in first-person view, and you're going to look for that black square on the ground like that. So they should be in this direction. Up oh, the storm just cleared, I think. Let's see. Oh, nope, there he is, right there. <clears throat> okay. And we can hover and land. Excellent. Really weird coloring here. It makes everything look golden. Until you get out of your ship. How weird. Okay. New effects to the weather here are really, really cool. Here's our life form. Looks like a, a traveler just like us at the moment. But let's see what happens. Travelers seem surprised to see me. Their eyes search mine, wondering why I'm here and how I have found them. Looking defeated, Traveler Yawudber reveals their ship's burnt-out user authenticator. This part is far beyond repair, but, I, but it could potentially be replaced. <clears throat> so now that you've met this person, you look through your scanners and you're going to find a nice place to look it's not it's not doing it give it a second okay now it's telling us to do it there we go see right there now it's looking at buried technology right so we're going to go ahead and dig down there we go terrain manipulator and as you take a look at the terrain manipulator and you're looking at this buried technology as it will i'm going to switch back over to another weapon real quick uh neutron cannon i think is good and then we're going to go ahead and pick it up now, it tells us that it found it, but unless it's the right thing, what we have to do is we have to hit E uh, inside, I'm sorry, inside our, and hit E right here. So we're inside our inventory and hit E while and analyze it, and it does a pullback. Now, if it's the right unit, it will find some place for us to go. There you go, decryption terminal located. Now, sometimes it won't find it, and you'll have to look for another piece of buried technology. Now, unfortunately, these type of things sometimes cause corrupted sentinels to approach, so keep your eyes peeled. And we're going to fly out. Now, If sometimes when we take off, it could just bring in sentinel ships or pirates to attack us. Okay? Looks like our communication station over there is where we're headed. Not going to leave the atmosphere. I think it's pretty close by. We're on a moon anyway, so... We're going to divert power to our engines. Just get there a little quicker. Three, two... One pull back on the stick. All right. There's our terminal. Good. Now, question is, will there be corrupted sentinels nearby? Sometimes there is, and you might have to get into a fight, so I'll just warn you about that. Guess what? There's corrupted sentinels. And if you try to go to the terminal, this is what happens. Terminal status locked. Sentinel activity detected. So we've got to take out the Sentinels, whether we like it or not. So I'm going to be using my Neutron Cannon. Let's see what happens. Let's see how fast I can take these guys out, right? Okay, good deal. Not as quick as I thought I would. I'm going to stick to my Boltcaster in the future, and I might put that in there. 
even though it gives a lot of damage. It seems to be faster at doing things. All right, so now the terminal status is active. Please present compatible device. We're gonna show our decrypted unit here and user authenticator detected, pairing, key downloaded, syncing, device decrypted. We're done. So we're gonna get back on our ship. We're gonna go join our buddy over there. Okay, where are we going? I don't know why it thinks I need to use an echolocator. Let me get that reassigned here. So we just need to find our buddy. And it should be pointing us back to them right now. Yes, I realize that's what I've got to do. Give me just a minute. There we go, finally. I don't know why it delayed so long. Maybe I'm having trouble reaching the servers or something. Whoop. Whoa, okay, that was weird. <laughs> Gotta do a little fancy flying once in a while. The very fast ship we've got here. Alright, so we're gonna deliver the part to our buddy over here. And you know what he's gonna do, right? Watch this. Look at this. Remember the Traveler? That's a Viking. We all know this. All right, the Viking growls softly, drawing themselves up. The circumstances of their recent crash have made them distrustful, but alone out here, their choices are limited. We give them the part. Thanks! And he just disappears and takes off. You ungrateful little bastard. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the anomaly and get our reward. How ungrateful can you be? Back to the anomaly. Pull that in. That's what you do. You have to summon it. And then once we get our reward, just as a side note for people who haven't done these anomaly missions before, if you want to get back to the system you were at, after you're done turning this in, simply exit the anomaly. Just get in your ship and fly out. It'll return you back to your original system. All right, so we're back. See, position not saved. So you can just get in and out of your ship real quick once you've turned this all in and it'll save give you a save point. All right. Complete the mission. All done. And there you go. Now, see the mission is gone too. It disappeared from the top. So that gave me my 1800, my frigate modules, and we go over here to our Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. You'll notice that the creation just includes right now the items that we got from our um, expedition. So once the expedition's over, it should end either this Sunday night or Monday morning, depending upon where you are in the world. Uh, once it's over, these will be these are already available for everybody, but some new things should be appearing in here. Now we do want to keep our eyes peeled on Sean, because Sean has been known to drop emojis, especially if he wants to do World's Update Part 2 or something special. He may get crazy on us, nobody knows. And here's this terminal over here, if you feel like running the expedition with your main save, you can do that by bringing items in, and you'll just go to the anomaly at some point in order to get what you need. All right, folks, so that should take care of it for this uh, Anomaly Mission weekend, and thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, of course, I always wanna ask folks to please hit that like button, hit subscribe if you liked what you've been watching on my channel. It costs you nothing, just to subscribe. And it really does help out the channel quite a bit. So I wanna thank you again for watching. You guys have been wonderful, really appreciate you. Take care, quick wave goodbye, and we'll see you next weekend in the next video. So long, everybody.